Hello everybody. For the month of December, we're going to be learning about one of my favorites, kale. First, let's take a look at how kale is grown. Kale is started from a seed and it grows in soil, whether that means outside in a garden or in an indoor pot. Kale is grown for its leaves, just like spinach, so it grows better when there is tons of sunlight. It needs a good amount of water as well to help keep the leaves crisp and sweet rather than tough and bitter. Kale typically takes two months to grow before it can be picked. If you're someone that loves kale just as much as me, you're in luck. Kale is available fresh all year long and it is also sold frozen so we can always count on this nutrient dense food. If you're buying kale fresh, always look for bunches with dark green, small to medium leaves. It can be kept in the fridge for three to five days, but only wash it right before you're ready to use it. Now that we know how kale is grown, what food group do you think it belongs in? If you said vegetables, you're correct. There are many different kinds of kale and some even have different colors. This leafy vegetable is packed with vitamins, minerals, and fiber for a healthy body. Kale has high amounts of vitamin K, A, and C, which means that it helps your wounds heal, protects your skin and eyesight, and it keeps your immune system strong. Kale also has high amounts of calcium, which is a nutrient that many Americans do not get enough of. Now that we know how great kale is for our bodies, let's see some ways that we can enjoy it. There are so many great ways to enjoy kale, such as as a salad, added into a smoothie, baked into a chip, or even just by itself as a side dish. Two other great ways to use kale is added into your favorite breakfast casserole, or my favorite, put on top of your favorite pizzas. Are you ready to make some recipes using kale? I know I am. Now that we know how to enjoy kale, let's see how it's said in different languages. Kale. Col riesada. Chou frisé. Thank you for following along to learn about kale. Make sure to tune in next month to see what our January fruit or vegetable of the month is. Bye!